こんにちはジャパニーズポット101ですおはよう東京こんばんはニューヨークこんにちはロンドンはい、everyone、ジェシーです。ジェシー here。こんにちは、もとこです。Welcome to Absolute Beginner Season 2, Lesson 19. How long ago did you arrive in Japan? Thanks again for joining us for this lesson. もとこ、what did we learn in the last lesson, Lesson 18? In the last lesson, we learned how to make the negative form of verbs. For example, 肉を食べません。I don't eat meat. And in this lesson, you'll learn how to make the past tense form of a verb. You'll be able to talk about things that happened in the past, like, I went to the park. Jesse, what's happening in this conversation? In the conversation, Taylor is talking to his mother in law, Chami's mother, on the phone. Remember that Taylor and his family have just arrived in Japan. Great! Let's listen to the conversation. <laughs> はい、みんな元気です。メール読みました。明日、お父さんとお母さんの家に行きます。お父さんによろしく。Let's listen to the conversation again slowly. 昨日、日本に来ました。はい、みんな元気です。メール読みました。明日、お父さんとお母さんのうちに行きます。お父さんによろしく。Now, let's listen to it with the translation. 昨日、日本に来ました。We came to Japan yesterday. はい、みんな元気です。Yes, everyone's fine. メール読みました。I read your email. 明日、お父さんとお母さんのうちに行きます。Tomorrow we're going to your and father's house. お父さんによろしく。Please give my regards to father. Okay, so Taylor is on the phone with Chami's mother. Or, in other words, his mother in law. That's right. He's doing a good job. Yes, I'd say so. He's speaking politely and saying all the right things. Let's look at one of the phrases he uses. Sure. Which one? At the end, he says, お父さんによろしく。お父さん which means father, plus によろしく which means something like, please give my regards to, or please say hello to. That's right. So, anytime you want to say to someone, Please say hello to so and so for me, or please give my regards to so and so. You can just use person's name plus ni yoroshiku. A very handy phrase. Can you tell us what Taylor said again? Sure. He said, o t o s a n ni yoroshiku. Please give my regards to father. Yes. And there are a couple more vocab words I want to go over too. The words for yesterday and tomorrow. Yesterday is kino. Kino. Please repeat. Yesterday. Kino. And tomorrow is. Ashita. Ashita. Please repeat. Tomorrow. Ashita. You'll learn the word that means today in the next lesson. That's right. So please turn in. The one that means yesterday, Kino. Will be especially useful in this lesson since we'll be talking about actions that happened in the past. Yes, so please keep this word in mind. Kino. And with that, let's move on to the lesson focus. Okay, let's go. In this lesson, you'll learn how to change verbs into their past tense form. That means you'll be able to talk about events that have happened in the past. We will still be using our same pattern. A, wa, object, o, verb. Okay, so by now you know that polite verbs end in mas, correct? Like, tabemas, to eat, nomimas, to drink, 
and ikimas to go. And to form the past tense, all you need to do is change the final mas to mashita. Easy, right? Let's take some very simple sentences and turn them into the past tense. Sounds good. How about eiga o mimas? Eiga movie o mimas watch. I watch a movie. Now, if we want to change this to the past tense and say, I watched a movie, it would be Ega o mimashita. Ega o mimashita. Listeners, please repeat. I watched a movie. Ega o mimashita. Great, let's try another one. How about one using the verb ikimas to go? Okay, let's use gakko ni ikimas. Gakko school ni ikimas to go. Gakko ni ikimas. I go to school. In the past tense, this becomes gakko ni ikimashita. Gakko ni ikimashita. Listeners, please repeat. I went to school. Okay, sounding good. Now, if you want to be specific and mention when an action took place, you can add a time phrase that indicates the past. For example, earlier we learned the word kino, right? Remember that kino means yesterday. So we could add this to our sentences to be more specific. Let's see how it sounds. Kino eiga o mimashita. Yesterday I watched a movie. Kino gakko ni ikimashita. Yesterday I went to school. Sounding great. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the examples from our conversation. First, Taylor said, Kino nihon ni kimashita. We came to Japan yesterday. The verb here is kimashita, which is the past tense of the verb kimas, which means to come. After that, he says, Meru yomimashita. I read your email. The verb in this sentence is, Yomimashita, which is the past tense of the verb, Yomimas, which means to read. Okay, listeners, are you ready to listen and repeat? First is, We came to Japan yesterday. Kino nihon ni kimashita. The next one is, I read your email. Meru yomimashita. All right, how was that? Not so bad, right? Listeners, after you finish listening to this lesson, be sure to leave us a comment telling us something you did in the past. We look forward to hearing from you. Please let us know if you have any questions. Until next time, everyone. Ja, mata. ちょっと